How's it going? This is Peter from the film scoring department at Berklee College of Music. I'm just going to bring a video into Pro Tools so that I can set it up, have it in sync, and eventually be able to compose some music. Before I even get into Pro Tools, I want to take a look at this QuickTime video file that I have, this movie file, just to get some information. The first thing I'm going to note is that I have a SMPTE burn in on the movie, which is essential. And that if I start the movie at the very beginning, the very first frame, I can make a note using this SMPTE burn in of what the first, the address of the first frame is. In this case, it's one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero frames. You might have a different video and a different number there. I'm just making a note of this one for my purposes. Another thing I can do while I'm in the QuickTime player is hit Command I to get the inspector window up. Alternatively, that's available under uh, Window, the Window menu. And I'm going to make a note of the frames per second, which is here, 23.98. Now I can quit QuickTime. I just needed that information. And I'm going to launch Pro Tools. I'm using Pro Tools version 11.3.1. I have Pro Tools set up to show the quick start window when I launch it. You may or may not have that preference set. Uh, for my project, using the WAVE format and 48 kilohertz sample rate is fine. And 24-bit interleaved is fine. Your project may have different specifics. It's asking me where to save this, and for purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to call it Car Chase. The session setup window is available at Command Number Pad 2. It's also available under the menu item setup and just select session. This is a place where I can set the session start time which for the way that I'm setting this up to synchronize video inside of Pro Tools I want it to be the same as the first frame of the video. So one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, zero frames is the session start time. That may be different than the start time of music within this scene but it's, it is the first frame of the video as I checked it in the QuickTime movie before I even got into Pro Tools. Time code rate, it's defaulting to the correct one here. Also, I checked this in the, the QuickTime movie, 23.976 is the correct frame rate under time code rate. If I switch the counter view up here to time code, you can see that my cursor, which is at the very beginning of the session, shows that I'm right at that one hour start time. That's what that session start time field refers to, is the far left position of the tracks window. Let's go to the file menu, choose import, and choose video, and navigate back to that same video file which I was looking at a moment ago, and select it. Pro Tools is asking me where to locate the video in the session. It could start it somewhere in the middle of the session if, if we wanted to for some reason. But we're putting session start. We know that this is going to match. The, the, the first frame of the video itself is one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, zero frames. And the, the first frame of our session is one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, zero frames. So they're going to match up and be in sync. I've also checked the box import audio from file so that the soundtrack that's contained in the movie will have its own audio track here that I can play back or mute or whatever. Hit OK. Pro Tools asks me in this dialog window that says open to the top, it's asking me to where to put that audio file of the soundtrack. And it always defaults to putting it right in the folder, the audio files folder, with the project that you just created. So 
that's a perfect place for it. So just click the open button. It's importing the audio and assembling things together here. This track at the top is the video track. This is the video window. Anywhere I insert my playhead is where I've inserted and the view in the window is that frame of video. And if I have a correct output selected here, I should be able to listen to the soundtrack also. How do I know I'm in sync? Well, if I look at this counter, which is set to time code right now, make sure it's set to time code when you check this. This number up here on the counter should match this number down here on your video window. And you should check it in two places to make sure it's not drifting out. If I click in the near the beginning of the video, I can see they're the same. And I'll also check near the end of the video, and I see that they're still the same. That means it's in sync.